I think Emma thinks I've gone a bit mad. Why? Well, right, okay. It's coming up to winter, yeah? Right, because it's winter, it, pff, it gets cold. Now, I have seen plenty of people on Instagram showing us where they are, and they keep telling us how cold it is. So, I wanted a thermometer. But, I didn't just want a thermometer. No, you, can, you can't just have a thermometer, no. No, I, I wanted a thermometer with three different sensors. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, to be honest with you, now, I'm gonna be honest with you, totally honest. The thermometer I bought, and I bought it, I bought off, off Amazon, um, can't remember how much it, let me tell you. I'll tell you how much it was. There, it was 1995. And that, 1995, got me the thermometer and one outdoor sensor. <laughs> hmm, very good. Tell the outdoor temperature and the indoor temperature. So as I'm setting it up, I noticed channel one, channel two, and channel three. So I've done that thing that I don't do. I got the instructions out. I don't do instructions. So starts having a little peruse through the, to be honest with you, two pages of instructions when it's in English because the rest of it's in French and German and Italian and Slovenian and Slovakian and every other country you can imagine in this tiny little parcel that we've got here of instructions. Hmm. Said you can connect another two devices another two you know what i done don't you and then goes on amazon and i bought two more of them 40 quid it cost so the the thermometer and one outdoor sensor was let's say 20 pound each additional sensor was 10 pound each 40 pound that's what happens when you read instructions. It costs you more money. And I thought it'd be good to know what the temperature outside is compared to inside. But then I started thinking, hmm, oh, it would be nice to know what the temperature is on the where the battery is. And then I thought, oh, it'd be nice to know what the temperature is where the engine bay is compared to the outside, because you've got a bit of stuff in there. So I'm going to stick one temperature sensor on the roof. I'm gonna stick one temperature sensor in the garage area, literally on top of the battery. And they're gonna stick another temperature sensor. I don't know whether to put it in the engine bay or on top of the water tanks. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you had a load of temperature sensors, where would you put yours? Be careful. No, no one with the probing. First of all, we're gonna unbox these ones and pair them up got a light on it i like that and um, we'll pair them up to that and then we can go from there i've been looking around the van and where to stick this can't stick it on there because there's too much going on and i can't put it up there because there's no room so i thought i know i'll take that off i'll put that somewhere else i'll put the temperature sensor there so i've got to get that off and i, I don't know what i've glued it on there with I'm like genuinely don't know what i've used to put it on it's proper stuck and I don't want to break it either. <laughs> My God, what is this stuck on with? Oh, yeah, got it, got it, got it. <sighs> wow. I'll tell you what that is. That is a um, Gorilla double-sided sticky tape. See, most people just do that and pull it. It just never works. Roll it. See, rolling it works better. Right, got that off. And I put some Velcro on the back of there. This stuff is brilliant. So, got some Velcro on the back of there. Mr. Paul found this in his yellow van. And it's uh, bloody good stuff. In the back of it, where your, your, your batteries go, You've got a little switch there, which has one, two, and three. Just there. One, two, and three. 
basically you put that on what sensor you want it to be either one two or three and then you've got two buttons on the back there one says reset and one says link now all you do is that's on channel one so that is this one for channel one they are fully waterproof as well by the way let's get another one out and we'll link it up to number two just to prove it works the bottom button here on your device so we put that on channel two and then we'll just press the sync button so when we press this sync button what is going on here press the button press the button back with you in a minute typical neil have to go read instructions so when you install your batteries for the first time, you get three minutes to sync things up. Then it stops syncing. Then what you gotta do is, in the bottom corner here, you've got that, sync. You've gotta hold that in for three seconds, and then in the top corner, I don't know if you can see, you've got a little flashing thing there. That's now in sync mode. Now we can press the button on this. So we'll press the button together, and this one should light up. There we go, it worked. Fully them instructions, aren't they? Right, they're all linked up. We've got one, two, and three. Just put a little line on so I can tell them. Now, these do have um, a 200 foot light reach on them. So you could use them in a house, you could have one in your garage, one in your shed, one in your garden. <clears throat> Got quite a bit of a distance on them. In the van, I mean, it doesn't matter to us because they're only close. Also, while I've got you, you know our bed, we used to have, uh, a set of ladders that we used to um, used to climb up onto the bed. Now, I was thinking the other day, we have a set of ladders and we have a laundry basket. Now, what happens if I could make a laundry basket that is a, set, a step, not a set of ladders? And I always wanted a bit of a seat here. Don't know why, I just did. So, I made a box and it just stores there. So, pull it out washing basket you can step onto the bed and then if we've got a load of people in the van it's also a seat now i kind of like sitting here don't know why i can sit here and talk to em while she's having a poo anyway there's me box i like it and it works well and it just pushes into there right let's go mount sensors first ones go in there And I am going to give it a blob of sealant. Right, that's stuck down with Velcro and it's got a blob of sealant either side just to help it stick. So that's that one done. That's number one. Right, I've stuck the second one in the engine bay there and I've just cable tied it. That's fine, that's going nowhere. Now for the third one. Right, I have mounted the third one just there the battery is there third one is there now I did say I was going to mount it on top of the battery but I think that's close enough to the battery to get a temperature reading and it should get the temperature reading of the full garage as well that's where that's going right they're all in temperature sensor is on the wall so we've got channel one channel two channel three Right, we need to label them now. Some people laugh at me when they pull this out because I do like labels. Will loves this and Liam and Janine as well from those happy days. Printed them a few labels. Some people take the piss, don't they? You know who you are, label haters. So outside, engine and garage. Right, we want it small. Let's see what this is like when it prints might be ah, that might be all right mm, it's a little bit too big that should be a bit smaller that'll do us we've got one which is the outside we've got two which is the engine bay and we've got three which is the garage now the garage is the same temperature as in the cabin now i am guilty of seeing what other people have done and done it myself loads of people have done it but the way of the world isn't it We'll do it. 
Um, do I need three temperature sensors? Probably not, no. One in and one out would probably do, but i just seen them and thought, what the hell, just buy them. I did want one for the battery and the garage because I am curious in the winter what type of temperatures go in there because it will help towards your battery. A cold battery, especially lithium, doesn't want to be charged. So if you can keep the temperature of it up a little bit compared to what you've got in the cab, that's a bonus. Also, you can flick the unit between Celsius and Fahrenheit as well. It just depends what you're comfortable with. I like the little numbers. Just a little button on there that says, see, you can flip between Celsius and Fahrenheit. We'll keep it on the little number, which is Celsius, because I know what they are. Well, that's it. Right, I'm going to go now, because um, oof, got a couple more things to do. But you'll see them later. One of them, you're going to love. Well, no, three of them, you're going to love. Right, toss off for now. Don't forget. Whatever you do, do it well. No Emma as well. She's out doing a thing, don't worry. She's still here.